every match I've seen in pools was like a very close set. Oh, yeah, yeah. Out but of all the Wi Fi warriors, everybody's wondering who probably did the best. I think Guts did. Yeah. So, in case you guys are all wondering here, but we can talk about that some other time. Speaking of Wi Fi warriors, this is number one on the Wi Fi warrior rank, Spargo. <laughs> up against Larry. About to yeah. change that to number one on the offline ranks, maybe. Oh, definitely. Larry is. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, hold I spoke on. too soon. Not I like spoke this. too soon. Not like this. Shake it off, Spargo. Shake it off. I don't know. That was a very weird cloud moment off stage. I, yeah, you have to do that at least one time. Right? That's the yeah. cloud that's, that's the only one we're going to get for this set, hopefully. All right. Think about Spargo, though. He's actually been fighting back from disadvantage a lot. Like, I've been seeing him having a rough first stock, and then he just comes back and just so strong, you know? I don't know. The, the thing about Spargo for him is mindset, right? It's not about how much you're losing and how much you're winning. It's about keeping that mindset in check. Yes, you're winning. Yes, you're losing. Yes, you're taking a damage. Get back to your game plan and get things done. Look at where we see Spargo here. 139 on that Larry Lair. Limit broken. He covered that whole recovery with that distance. You can see that spacing. Sparkle knows what he has to do to win. Wow. Larry actually not minding that he dropped the full F, F tilt hit. He immediately retains stage control and just keeps up the pressure. Like, looking really good on his first stock already. Okay, hit out the double jump in the blade beam. He's going to delay his recovery and hold down a little bit to keep the hitbox active. Exactly. You want to be careful with that cloud down air. It will spike through that ledge. And Spargo definitely has those down airs, two frames on point. But there is the clean back air. 115, almost has limit. He's going to save it for if he gets a hit or gets hit himself. There it is. He uses the double jump. Not wasting limit either, but might have to use it soon. No. That's one thing that Spiral's really good at. He won't use a limit to recover unless he definitely has to. Yeah, he's the thing about that limit storage, even though you do have 15 seconds of fame, the manner of how you use it is good, but also Spiral knows I can't be too greedy. Oh, no double jump here. Nope, but you can use that oh. side B to stall yourself. Unfortunately, Larry does not care. Exactly. These wolf claws don't care about your stalling. I'm just going to slash the ledge. Oh, but 77 on Larry here. Spargo holding the shield. A little bit of an empty hop. No mix up there from Spargo. Goes for slash. that cross slash. Edge guard here goes to Spargo on that. Great way because he gets to come back towards center stage. Sets up for the back air. Takes control of the ledge here. And now it's on Larry to figure out how to get back up. Nice narrow though. He didn't get a lot off of it, but it was a good timing mix up on his landing. Caught Spargo off guard. And uh, Wolf can continue to snowball the damage, as you can see right now from Larry. Nice grab. You're going to throw him off stage again. He's trying to snipe the double jump with the laser, but it's not going to work out so far. Still, Spargo has to make something happen here. He has a limit. There's the parry cross slash. Larry getting a little bit lazy with his uh, falling nares on shield. There's a big cross slash, 19%. That cross slash is so much damage. <laughs> the thing about Cloud 2 is you have to be careful when you cross up Cloud, but when also Clara crosses off you. Yeah. He's one of those characters that does not let that happen to him at all. Okay, fourth throw. Spargo actually DI'd the fourth throw correctly, so Larry can get a free follow-up. And now he's juggling him. It has limit almost to, uh-oh, things oh, can uh, happen now. Larry has to be careful. <laughs> he, he has to be careful. Big things can happen here. Right. Spargo has to know when he's not greedy with that limit. Oh, forward falls on top of him. What Still, the cross limit. Cross slash might be coming soon. Oh, no. That's good. That's good. Because right. you want him to get off that ledge. Spargo right. knows how important that is. He's got stage control here. Last hit situation. Spargo. Larry's going to choose the platform. Kind of makes up. He's laying a little bit, but Ooh. the big wolf back there. Even without the sweet spot, it doesn't matter. That, that move does it all. Yeah. Sweet spot. Sour spot. It doesn't matter. Spargo. It's killing. So close on that back air, too. You can see that the starting frames of oh. it, right? He definitely did go for that short hop just to set up for that back air. Larry knows it's my time to execute. That's the best time to hit Cloud. Congrats right to Larry to hit that. winning that first game. Let me remind everyone that Spargo SD that zero. Yeah, on he his almost first had stock. that. He almost had that. And he almost won that match. That match. <laughs> <laughs> that. I know Larry won, but I feel like Spargo literally almost won from SD at zero. Like. <laughs> He did, he did. That percent was looking very much in Sparkle's hands. We're All back right. on PS2 though. I love Cross Slash as a Cloud main. Um, <laughs> it does so much damage. Its range is insane. It combos from like aerials. It is a great move, a great anti-air. It does it all. And then when he turns blue, it does more damage and kills. <laughs> it pays Sparkle's bills. I'm telling you that right now. It what pays, bills? It pays his bills. What bills? It pays for his games. <laughs> <laughs> You see them AirPods he's wearing? Man, you know he won that off a cloud <laughs> limit slash. Yeah, those online tournaments racking up that, that prize money. He's definitely been stacking it up. But this first stock's very important. Let's see what Larry does here. He did kind of get a freebie last game. Let's see if he can like cleanly take Spargo's first stock. There's the on the landing. He's going way up the double jump. Actually, he fast fall to avoid the laser. Which is smart because yeah. Larry is setting up for that oh. low recovery from Spargo. 
Sparkle does not sweet spot the ledge. He has to try to make a play, but Larry covers that with up smash. Yeah. You get to cover the ground and the air, and you know where Sparkle wants to be. Yeah, especially that new up smash from Cloud a few patches ago. Very, uh, very good move that more Clouds uh, start to use more often these days, since it's so much faster and stronger than before. Oh, big dash attack. Okay. Yeah, Spargo very scary on this stage just because his juggle game is really strong when he uh, has a read on where you're going to air dodge on the platform. Oh, oh big have a read. down air. I told have you guys about those down air two frames of the first game. He has those. Oh, go down Spargo there, holds the shield, there the is some damage. Are, the parries are coming out a little bit more often for Spargo, and that's kind of scary see, for Larry. And you can see Spargo knows when there you're going to try to cross him up, there is that climb hazard he can pull out. Oh, Great Larry, empty gets, hop. Larry dropping shield too early on the cross slash. He wasn't sure what Spargo was going to do there, I Spargo guess. Spargo has so much control here. 36% two stocks. Yeah, Larry coming string. back with the fair strings here. He's got the stage control here. Catches the landing with that dash attack. Oh, we got but Larry's not in position to punch. And another big parry. Larry needs to start mixing up his cross oh, there, but it does not no. matter. Spargo actually was so smart to go that deep off stage like that with the back there because he had limit. Yes, Even if yes. he missed somehow on that, he's safely coming back to the stage and then continue the edge guard. He knows that limit at that point is not to go for the cross slash, it's to get back on the stage, yeah. right? You do see those back airs come out consecutively. And Spargo pulls that out. Dude, that was a clean game from Spargo. Once he oh, had he that stock lead, once he got that down air on the, uh, the wolf flash, like it just... Larry never got control back. He let Larry know. That was my first game one. Yeah. <laughs> I let you have that first game. That is the... The thing yeah. about the thing about this too is this is this is also a very good tale of young blood versus old guard. Larry it is actually part. has two spectrums. Like Larry's yeah. been playing this game, game. competitively since brawl. Melee, actually, melee, since sorry. melee, melee, melee. Larry, Larry was a melee legend, dude, and he was definitely in one of those Soka players. Especially. Yeah. Larry was ranked in melee, ranked in brawl, ranked in Smash Four, ranked in PM, ranked in 3DS, and ranked in Ultimate. Spargo is of the new generation, man. This Very is good Smash 4 Cloud, by the way, Spargo. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But, yeah, his big, like, coming out in Ultimate uh, has really made a lot of people hyped on his play, and especially offline. Uh, I know everyone's excited to see uh, what Spargo can do at this tournament. Was seated first, by the way. Yeah. So he's definitely living up I'll to I'll never right forget now. the day that we actually had to rank him because we had, a, we had an actual Arcadian. Yeah. And we knew that he was going to try to make a come for it. That's true. Great player. And we're gonna see what Larry can do to adapt to this great player on Spargo. We're going back to PS2 again for the third time this set. Yes, Larry is one of those players that like I've mentioned he is the old guy. He's been in a few situations like he's been in the one right now. And he knows what he's gotta do to make a comeback here. He's got one one with Spargo here. He's gonna let him come back oh, towards nice. the stage. Tough spot, but saves that jump. Yeah. Comes back aggressively. No catch on that tap. Big grab. The one thing I like about Spargo's cloud. He actually is very good at using Cloud's grab, even though Cloud's grab is a lot of people consider not that great because of how slow it is. But damn, that big anti-air up smash and the F till Larry fighting to survive gets sniped out of his jump. And Spargo takes the first stock with a little bit of limit charge left. Alright, good Nair. You know how long oh. the Nair will last here. I was able to cover a potential wolf roll flash. here, that sweet spot off the wolf flash. Giving Playing him some clearage. Nice. Larry trying to find a way in, but there's that up out of shield, not a safe dash attack, and now he's trapped on the platform. Potentially can get juggled here. Trying to retreat somewhere. Nice, sneaks in the grab. Spargo again, DI'ing the fourth throw pretty well, but still sneaks in the fourth tilt. Big down air, that's what you need to see. Spargo not sweet spotting the ledge, Larry taking full advantage. Oh, that wolf grab range, not enough to get that down throw dash attack. I know Larry's looking for it. Yeah, Larry's looking for a safe access here towards center stage. That's his big game here. He doesn't want to take anything unnecessary. Yeah, Larry's playing as safe as he can. Okay. All right, All right Larry's got to watch out here. It's that, see, it's that thing here. Spargo knows if Ooh, I keep this there. wolf in the air, he's going to be always in disadvantage. And I can just keep him up there like a beach ball. Let me get this back end, this Another nair. Great nair as well. So Sitting much coverage. That to the corner of the stage. Okay. Oh, the tech in place cross slash. You already know. Spargo, always ready to get that punish. He, it seems like he always has limit right when he needs it. Like right now, he has it. Yeah. Get out of his jump, but it's fine because he can recover the limit. Holds down to get the hit from the ledge. I need to do that more with Cloud. <laughs> this is why I want to see Fargo play, man. I, I'm stealing his tech. No bias, though. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no bias. <laughs> 
Yeah, poor Larry. He's gonna watch back those commentaries like Stride. You've been with me all these years. Hey, man, Larry's one of my best friends, but this cloud is crazy. <laughs> this is different. This is a different cloud. Spargo is definitely built different for a player of his caliber Laser and his age. Though. Nice, you can stall out with oh, that one hit, and Larry misses. Larry needs a stock right now. 176%. He has limit soon. There it is. And oh. he doesn't waste it, but there's the Nair. Too greedy, too greedy, but I respect it. You want to come back on the stage. You see Larry on that 77. And you knew if you had limit, there is some damage you could do. All right, we need some Charlie combos from Larry. I'm going to say it right now. We, we need a Wolf to do like some 70% combo with the Wolf Flash to bring this back. Because Spargo has a lot of moves that can kill, well, even without I, limit. That's the thing about Larry and Charlie, right? Charlie is the combo king. He knows how to get that damage, that percent here. But Larry is a neutral master. And that's Ooh. what he's always looking for here, but Spargo and won't Spargo punish said we're not playing neutral, we're, we're playing not. dash attack anti-air. Yes, and he sees that. He knows how Larry is trying to land. He's been seeing it all game yeah. long. Larry knows actually, what he's going to hit him with. Yeah, you, I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up because Larry, when he's in disadvantage, has been trying to use Wolf's Drift mm -hmm. to like mix up his landing a little bit. But it's still slow enough for Spargo to just react to where he's going. And also with the parries that Spargo has been getting, Larry can't land on top of him for free with aerials anymore. Yeah. So this is a... Uh, this is rough, honestly. I, I maybe mix in a few more empty hop grabs, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I really need to see some adaptation from Larry if he wants to actually bring Look, this to a game five. I, I only get to say this once on stream today. I thought we were going to see the Falco agenda tonight. Yeah, I, I don't I know. I thought man. it was a for sure thing. I thought the agenda the, was real. The but Falco you know definitely came in clutch versus uh, Charlie. But yes, yes. He's very confident in his uh, wolf in this matchup, especially. So let's see. Let's see what happens. He needs it to bring this to a game five. Spargo not really slowing down. Still has use of the limit, sneaking in that grab. Ooh! Oh, excuse you for no going that long. time wasted. Straight off stage into the cross slash. You're out of here. The future is now, old man. I am here for the title. Big tech oh, chase there. You didn't get the sweet spot for there. Would have been a crunchy combo if you got to work. There's another parry on the Nair. Larry forcing the approach with the Nairs here. Spargo has it on lock, and he's getting some really hard punishes, too. Tech Chase, nice. Excellent point. He's looking for that. That's good from Larry here. He saw that, you know what, there's not enough stun from that. Let me take center stage control. I need to hold this in order to win the game. I'm down a stock. Big cross oh. slash. Chases Larry's defensive, like, dash back to the corner. Spargo says, I see that coming a mile away. Get slashed up again. Another limit cross slash for the kill. And now he's up three stocks to one on PS2 again. Oh, what this an is empty a hop. big juggle. This is a big 60 juggle. 60%. Indeed. Forward smash, almost trying to get the three stock on stream. It would have killed if it actually connected. He has enough rage. And the drift to center. All right. All right. No, All right, it's no, it's over. Three it's stock. Over. Three stock, three one, Spargo. Yes, clap.